Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. Hmm. Maybe I just go back to that spot. Hmm. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. It's fine, I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others running toward the monitor, shoving and pushing to get closer. Tomiyoji was up behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? What was that, Sigma? Huh? Don't play dumb. You chose Ally. Didn't you hear me? I told you that if your BP drops to zero, you die. Yeah, I heard you. A whole second before the deadline. How can you expect me to think anything through that? Quick. It would have taken like half a second just to process what you said. No, you could have done it. The brain's processing power increases during a crisis. It starts working so fast that a second can seem like an eternity. Your brain was doing that right before time ran out, wasn't it? Well, am I wrong? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, fine. Let's be generous and say hypothetically that you're right about this crisis overclocking thing. How would you know whether or not my brain was doing that? Did you crack open my skull while I wasn't looking? You just wedge a microscope in there and have a look at my neurons? I'm gonna be straight with you. Your shit is whack like hella whack. I mean, you just know stuff you shouldn't. Stuff like my name or how if your BP hits zero you die. You told me you don't know why, but more and more I'm starting to think you've been lying to me. Yo, what's up? Siggy! Fuck oh! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Let's go. Time to see what the results are. Maybe it's different this time. Huh? This time? Hey! Fi, hold on! Shit. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally! Let's get ready to rock! Round one! The results! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Alice and Samyoji are fucked. <laughs> Here are the results from your game. Yeah. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Thanks, Oda. Oh, no, it's nothing. You don't have to thank me. I only did what anybody would have done. I believed in you and Fi. When I classed the way I threw Fi what could only be described as a smug grin. Either frustratingly, she didn't respond, only turned away when I'm perturbed. I was about to press the issue when I heard Timmy Oji's voice. Quark, what happened? No, no! It wasn't me! Mr. Dio tricked me! He told me he'd pick Ally! He... he promised! That's why I let him do the voting! Is this true, Dio? Are you serious? This kid's full of shit! Wha what? <laughs> I didn't do squat. Quark was the one who decided how we were gonna vote. And you wanna know what he told me? You just leave the voting to me, Mr. Dio. 
Grandpa's gonna choose to ally for sure, cause I'm his opponent on this one. I think we should betray. To be honest, I'm getting kind of tired of that grumpy old bastard. He's had a good life, but it's time for him to go. What do you say we leave the old fart here and leave? I've got a plan. See? Don't worry about me. I'll just tell him you tricked me. He'll believe whatever I tell him. Besides, if he still trusts me, that'll make it easier to use him again later. What do you say, Mr. Dio? Pretty good plan, huh? Alright, let's do it. You're lying! I never should have trusted you! Dio! You're a lying jerk! Sure, kid. Keep whining. See if I care. Grandpa! You believe me, right? Don't let this brat fool you, old man. All of this is just part of his plan. You bastard! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! <laughs> That's enough, Quark. Don't lose your temper. How long have I known you? <laughs> I could be deaf and blind, and I'd still know if you were lying to me. Really? <laughs> You're just as gullible as he said you'd be. Hook, line, and sinker. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. That little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you... I trust the kid as far as I could throw him, and at your age, that can't be much. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on him. It's all right. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. Which is though another argument has taken place while Quark and Dio are fighting. Whatever it had been about it appeared to have resolved itself. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. Oh, yeah. I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Um, they're already open. So, let me just close them. The Amadex gates have closed. Round two of the Amadex game will be the moon round. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. <laughs> Does that mean we can't use these cards anymore since they've got suns on them? Yes, indeedy. Now, you'll have to put the cards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll be. But I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number 9 door. So it's over when someone gets 9 BP. No. As long as that person doesn't open the number 9 door, the game goes on! Of course, you could also get stuck just below 9 BP, where everybody just keeps going back and forth and back and forth and losing points. After all, if there's nobody with 9 BP, the door can't open. If 
that happens. You'll just have to continue on to round three, and round four, and round five, round 100, round 2000. You might even go all the way up to round 24 billion, 9 million, 4,897. <gasps> Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. Did I ask you something? I don't know. Can you? There's rules about who can go into the secondary doors, right? Like, you have to have three people, exactly. Yeah? So? Well, what about the number nine door? Are the rules the same? Nope. There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, there is no big news to All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors? Maybe it's not 100% true. What? What do you mean? Well, you can open the door with just one or two people if you want. That's not what you told us. Well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scaffold between the two doors. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning the people. So, it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding ding ding! As long as the scanner sees the right combination of bracelets, Wait, wait, hold on a bit. Do these things even come off? No, yes! They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door and escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Bia. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do! Oh, well, I see. It's easy. Nothing to it, really. You die. Impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 when someone dies on a TV show. The point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away... The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there is no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. But if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round! Ha <laughs> ha Oops! I guess that's not going to be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say that it's going to be ten me all the or less. One or the other. Or... <gasps> it might be both of them. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, what? Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. Just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. You mean the needles are prisoners so are gonna activate and will die? Correct, Siggy. Full marks. So, five and right. But how did she know before Zero told us? I see. Alice and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well... Is there anything else you conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. Right? Right, Fido? Yeah. I guess so. Took a moment to go over everything in my head. The AV game would continue until someone opened the number 9 door. There were no rules about how many people could or couldn't pass through the number 9 door. That meant it was possible for everyone to escape. The secondary chromatic doors could be opened by any number of people so long as you had the right bracelets. Bracelets would only unlock under two conditions, if you left the building or if your heart stopped. If your BP hit zero, the needles in your bracelet would activate killing you. Uh oh! One last thing. The next set of chromatic doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them, right? There should have been three. Red, blue, and green. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, Yellow. But wait! You've already got those bracelets! Have a look! The color's changed, hasn't it? Yeah, it did change. Mine changed from red to cyan. Me too. Mine's cyan now. Mine too! Wait, I guess the colors weren't the only thing that changed. It switched from pair to solo. You're right. Mine switched from solo to pair. Mine is now a solo as well. Yep, looks like mine's changed too. I've gone from solo to pair. I'm still a pair. The three of us seem to be magenta now as well. I'm yellow. And it still says solo. Fi, you and Dio are yellow now too, right? Yeah. Looks like I'm a pair. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The pair and solo assignments hop around a bit too! And of course, it's <laughs> totally random! No rules or anything! Now, with all of that explained, I must bid you adieu. Sadly, we may never meet again. What? Well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. I mean, you guys are good from here, right? I'll never see you guys again. <laughs> <sighs> Did you really think I was gonna cry? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Suckers! As if I'd cry over you dummies! What the? You fucking dick. <laughs> you mad? Ugh. Anyway, good luck. 
I may be gone, but I'm always watching. Maybe. Always I'll see you again watching was Asky. Always watching. I guess Have a nice tragedy. Say. That little piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. That sounds gross. I don't really want to think about that. Um, so... What happens now? We've still got a while until the chromatic doors open. Yeah, it's like about 42 minutes. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. If there's a chance Zero missed something. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. And if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. Let's meet in front of the chromatic doors five minutes before they open then. Any objections? There were none. After some nods and mumbling, they split up and moved off to investigate. I was the only person who stayed behind. Damn. How the hell did I end up here? Why? Why me? Try as I might, I couldn't think of anything I'd done that could have landed me in Zero's game. I hadn't pissed anyone off, at least not this bad. I didn't owe anybody money and my family certainly wasn't rich. If anyone was hoping to get a fat ransom payout from me, they were going to be very disappointed. Obviously, I wasn't some kind of genius, nor was I an Olympic at the elite, and I certainly hadn't been chosen by God to fulfill some great purpose on his earth. Well, at least if I was, I didn't know it yet. Had I started a fight with a frightening and mysterious new religion? No. Had I hacked into some terrorist group server? No. Had I witnessed an assassination? No. Had I gotten wasted and had a one-night stand with the mistress of a prominent politician? Well, yes, but it was just the one time. <laughs> and she was the one who went after me. Anyway, I was just an ordinary college student. If there was a reason I'd been abducted and put in the ordinary game, I sure couldn't see it. Why was this happening to me? I thought back to what I'd been doing right before I was taken. The memories were still a little blurry, but they were... there. Summer 25th, 2028, early morning, California desert. The moon was beautiful. I just finished writing a paper due that day and was heading to my car from the research building. The parking lot was empty and a bright moon cast sharp shadows across the chilly pavement. The last time I looked at the clock, it had said it was 2 in the morning, which meant that today was Christmas Day. So why was I at school tapping away feverishly on Christmas? There were three reasons. First, my home computer had suddenly decided to eat shit. When I hit the power button, I just got nothing. I didn't have the time to spend all night troubleshooting this stupid thing, so I headed back to campus to use one of the school machines. Second, the professor in charge of my research group was a Buddhist. Christmas didn't appear to have any sort of significance to him, and part of me couldn't shake the thought that he was trying to make some kind of point. Third, my girlfriend had broken up with me a week before. I'm sorry, I don't think we should see each other anymore. Goodbye. All I got was that one cold email. Try as I might, I couldn't even get in touch with her. Of course, that meant I wouldn't be attending the party we'd been planning on going to. Somehow I didn't think drinking by myself around a bunch of happy couples would really be a good idea. At any rate, I stayed up all night to finish my paper and I emailed it off to my professor before the sun began to rise. As I walked across the parking lot, I felt light. Perhaps it was the relief of finishing my paper, or perhaps it was the five energy drinks I chugged to stay awake. Perhaps it was both. 
I sent it to my car and stuck the key into the ignition after only two tries. I twisted the key. Nothing happened. Huh? I jiggled the key in the slot and tried again. And again. And again. On the fifth try, the engine made an odd creaking noise like metal on metal and fell silent. God damn it, you stupid piece of shit. I screamed and pounded on the steering wheel, but nothing worked. The console was about to get a visit from my fist when... Huh? What? What the hell is this? Why is my car smoking? I clawed at the door and for a moment I thought that it was just my panic and lack of sleep that were keeping me from opening it. It wasn't long before I realized the truth. Shit! Oh my god damn it! What was going on? My mind was racing, trying desperately to puzzle out what was happening through a haze of fear and caffeine. The old mirror misfires. That was when I saw it. Just a glimpse in the rear view mirror, but I was certain there was someone behind my car. I spun around as fast as a very tired college student sitting in a car can. Who's there? My vision started to swim as the smoke filled the car. The more of it I inhaled, the heavier my body felt, and I could already feel the world starting to go dark. The last of my strength failed and I collapsed sideways into the passenger seat. My eyes slowly drooped closed. When they opened again I was in the AB room with Phi. Why is this happening to me? I spent a few minutes wallowing in misery, figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. But even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Kay had said, we needed to at least try and find another way out. So I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight, and headed off. To the infirmary. How's it going? Did you guys find anything? Hello, Mr. Sigma. Nothing yet. Oh. Well, Alice, Clover, and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Why are you back here, though? Uh, well, I was concerned about the lady you found. Who would do such a horrible thing? Mm -hmm. Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. Fi, please. Why would I kill this woman? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. If we find more evidence in the future, that could change. You were so busy earlier that I never got to ask, but do I never know who she Beats is? me. I've never seen her before. I don't know her either. Neither do I. Well, I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? You still can't remember anything? No. Not even a little, unfortunately. Where did we tell the truth about this amnesia stuff? Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? Suspicious? Have you looked in a mirror lately? Might as well have suspicious tattooed across your forehead. If someone ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. Or maybe even during the day. Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize for my frightening appearance. Well, it's not really something you need to apologize for. I mean, it's not your fault, right? No, I suppose not. Well, I assume not. But... I'm not sure why, but none of this feels particularly strange. 
The mask and the suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels... natural. I don't feel as though I was forced into it. Are you saying this is how you always look? No, I don't think that's it. This might be a pretty obvious question, but... Is there any way for you to take it off? No. I've tried several times, to no avail. I honestly don't even know where to start. Ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. There are parts of the suit I can't see. Could you have a look and tell me if perhaps there is a switch or something similar? With no further warning, you removed his rope and turned his back to us. It took no time at all to find something of interest. There's a hole here on the back of your head. A hole? Uh, looks like you insert something. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there? You could open up the suit and take the mask off. I see. That's excellent news. We just need to find whatever it is that goes in there, then. Yeah. Thank you. I feel somewhat relieved. I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this. Wait! A minute ago, you said that it felt natural. Well, it does. But that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. Imagine having glasses, for instance. <laughs> Wearing them doesn't feel strange. You'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, would you? That's what wearing the suit is like. Well, I think that's enough about me. Should we move to the next room now? No. There still might be something here. I'm staying. Me too! I see. Well then, I will move ahead and see how our companions are doing. What do you intend to do? Huh. I think I'll be moving along. Too. Where do you plan to go? The crew quarters. I was thinking I might go over to the crew quarters. Very well. I shall head for the lounge then. Until we meet again. Excuse me. Kay's rope flows silently around him as he's turned to leave. I made my way out of the infirmary behind him. Quarters, huh? Oh, Sigma. What are you doing here? Hey, come on, man. Don't be like that. We aren't enemies, are we? Huh. I wonder. What happened to you, Tamiyoshi? You've been acting weird ever since you found that lady's body. Oh, you think so? But you're sure it ain't just all in your head? Let's move on to something else, then. You and Quark. See your, uh, grandkid? Why do you want to know? Why? Well, I mean, why do you think? He keeps calling you Grandpa. Of course I'm gonna wonder what the deal is. We all got kidnapped and brought here apparently for no reason. Now they're making us all play some sort of weird game. I'm just trying to find a little meaning in all this nonsense. That's it. So tell me, tell me, Yoji. Are you really Quark's grandpa? Over? Luna. Sigma! Where'd you come from? Did you not want me here? No, it's okay, I guess. I just thought Ten Yoji was the only other person here. This is the crew quarters. I came here with Clover and Ten Yoji. We decided we'd split up to investigate. Huh. Makes sense. So you find anything? Zero. What? Which one? No, I meant I found zero things. How about you? Anything suspicious? I didn't find anything either. Although, I guess you could say this whole facility is suspicious. Yeah, you got a point there. So why do you think Zero put all these puzzles and stuff all over the place? Hmm. Well, maybe solving all of these puzzles is part of the Nonary game. 
I really thought the Lunar game was a couple rounds of the AB game. I already need the puzzles and stuff then. Oh, what is the Lunar game then? Why is Zero making us do um, all this? Well, this is just, um, speculation, but... Maybe it's for entertainment, so rich, powerful people can watch. Yes. They're probably off in an opulent theater, watching us struggle while they drink brandy and eat caviar. Oh, you think so, huh? So some rich bastards killed her off for kicks. What kind of a death is that? Well, maybe her dying didn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. No. Kay was right. If her dying wasn't part of all this, the rabbit would have said something. But what we get? Nothing. Just tells us to keep playing and disappears. I can only think of one reason he'd do that. Murdering her was always part of Zero's plans. Now, if you can think of another way all this fits, well, I'd love to hear it. So you're saying that Zero Senior is the one who murdered the old lady? Now, it sure looks that way. That means there's a 7 in 1 chance anybody could be the murderer. Wait. Seven. Well, Alice and I can't be zero. Okay, I'll let the I part go, but you're gonna have to give me a little to convince me Alice can't be zero. What? Come on. Alice and I know each other. Well, um, how do you know each other? Uh, I guess you could say we're co workers. And what do you call it? An organization? That's kind of vague. What kind of organization? Um, that's... I can't tell you. What? What do you mean you can't tell us? I mean, I can't tell you. Just forget about it, okay? Why can't you tell us? Because it's... Confidential. I promised I wouldn't tell. Oh, come on, don't give me that. Look around you, Clover. You really think this is the time for playing it close to the chest? Yeah! But what if the people you work for have something to do with what's going on here? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should tell you. Finally. Sorry, but I just don't really trust you guys. I mean, what if one of you is Zero? It could be any of you. Sorry. Anyway, I think that's enough about me and Alice. I just don't really feel like I can trust you guys. Maybe if that changes, then I can tell you. So, I guess I'll go now. Go? Where are you going? I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. Then I'll be going too. Fine. There she goes. So tell me, Save it. I don't trust you any more than she does. In other words, you aren't gonna tell me anything. I'm sorry. I left Tamioji and headed back to the hallway. There were so many questions I wanted answers to, but it was looking like I'd have to suffer in ignorance for a while longer. Besides, there were plenty of more immediate problems that needed my attention. I sighed and filed my questions away to be dealt with later. I need to focus. There was only one room I hadn't visited yet. Sigma. Perfect timing. You were here earlier, right? Yeah, I was. I know that I were the first into this room. Did you find anything suspicious? Like, uh, a secret pathway or something. You really think that's the kind of detail I would have been elected to mention? Anything else, then? Anything out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? I mean, everything about this room is out of the ordinary. How about this? 
Isn't that obvious? It's an astronom astronomy magazine. Apparently it's got an article about a lunar eclipse. So it's going to happen on December 31st, 2028. This New Year's Eve, then? Yeah. Six days from Wait, now. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean, six days? Oh, uh, well, today's Christmas, right? So... W wait a minute. When were you grabbed? Did you hear me? At Christmas. About two or three in the morning. Wait, did they pick you up on a different day? Yeah. I was abducted in the middle of the night on December 22nd. Ooh, we were abducted first. What about you? I, uh, I think it was the 20th. Then we were all taken on different days. Does that mean we were just sleeping until the normal game started? Maybe they kept us on a Soparil IV trip or something? In theory, you could have everyone wake up at the same time if you got the dosage right. Might even be the I think that's likely. Yeah. Some of us were probably abducted after you. Oh. I guess that explains why I feel kind of dizzy. You too? I felt disoriented since I woke up. My body doesn't feel right. Maybe it's because we were asleep for so long. Your muscles start to atrophy if you don't use them. Uh, then... What day is today? Beats me. I have no idea. What about you guys? Is there anything interesting in the crew quarters or the infirmary? Nah, nothing in the quarters. Oh well, there was a book about a cat. <laughs> a cat? Yeah. Something about a cat in a box and whether it's dead or alive. Didn't make any sense to me though. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really sound like something that's going to help us get out of here. Yeah, I didn't think so either. How about the infirmary? Find anything interesting? Well, actually there was one thing. What? I wasn't trying to hide it. The right moment to mention it just never came up. Don't need to apologize. Just tell us what you found. Well, see for yourself. See for myself? <laughs> It's a new safe article. Looks like... Yeah, it was in the safe in the infirmary. Let me see that. Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What the hell? What's Radical Just 6? Just read the article. I swallowed and began to read. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any victim patients is strongly advised. But do you think we're in a quarantine facility? You mean you think we got infected with this Radical 6 thing? Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Well, we don't know anything for sure. But look at us. We seem pretty healthy. Admittedly, I don't know what the symptoms of Radical 6 are. But if it's killing people worldwide, they must be horrific. Now, just look at this soft, lustrous skin. Far gone, don't you die this first? perfect, shapely face. Does this beauty look like something infected with an awful disease? You want to touch it, don't you, boy? I can see it in your eyes. Go on. Try. Well, I'm feeling a little weird. That could just be from sleeping for a couple of days. Or maybe it's a side effect of that drug. Uh, besides, if this is where they ship people to quarantine them, don't you think there aren't enough, uh, people? This thing is killing people all over the world, right? So why would there only be nine of us here? I guess you do have a point. Think about it. Zero is forcing us to play this nonary game. Why would the government quarantine people and then make them play a game? Also good point. Yes, it is. So you're saying there's no connection between our abductions and this virus? Probably not. Hmm. Well, still something we should remember, I suppose. I mean, even if we're safe in here, our friends and families are still out there. That's true. 
I hope they're all right. Wait a minute. When did this virus actually show up? I've never heard of it before. Neither have I. Me either. So what day is it? If this Radical Six killed hundreds of thousands of people while we were asleep, just how long have we been here for? I don't think you'll be able to just puzzle that out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Yeah, well, doesn't look like we're gonna have time for that. Four minutes. Shit, we're late. Uh, yeah. Alright then. We should hurry. Time. Barely. We've only got five minutes left. You're a yellow pair. Who do you think your partner is? Gee. I wonder. Ugh. You son of a... Come now, Fi. Please, calm down. Fighting now helps no one. He's right, you know. The doors have already opened. We need to hurry up and figure out our teams. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this asshole? Rubbing one yourself? Sasha, We're almost up. out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. Sasha's fire laid out for us with the following. Option A, Alice and I would pair up with Luna and go through the green door. Should be this part of your option. Tamiyoshi and Quark would pair up with Clover and open up the blue door. Phi and Dio would pair up with K and open the red door. Option B, Alice and I would pair up with K and go with the blue door. Tsumiyoji and Quark would pair up with Luna and open the red door. Phi and Dio would pair up with Clover and open the green door. Option C, Alice and I and Clover would pair up and go through the red door. Tomioji and Quark would pair up with K and open the green door. Phi and Dio would pair up with Luna and open the blue door. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Alright, so what are we doing? I'm not pairing up with K. Oh? Why not? We'd end up playing against each other in the next AB game. Last time, you betrayed Clover. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? Uh, you can't be trusted. How unfortunate. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. Yeah? Why's that? Well, you only have one BP left. I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, then I would kill you. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Huh. Yep. I want to go with Alice, too. 
Hey, wait a minute. Don't I get a say in this? I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm Phi's partner. You should pair up with us. Sound good? No. I am also opposed to that choice. If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. We'll be stuck with Phi's option C. <laughs> I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyochi. And I don't want to go with K either. What are we supposed to do? One minute remains until chromatic doors close. What's wrong, Quark? It's all over. Oh, yeah, that's there's just something's right here. This is it. We're all going to die. Huh. Are you all right? No. No. That's not it. Don't you get it? We aren't gonna die. We have to die. We have to die here. All of us. What, what the hell? Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Quark. Talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones. Getting so... <laughs> Serious about this stupid game? We should just stop. End this. End all of it. End everything. <sighs> we need to get him to the infirmary. No, we don't have time. 30 seconds remain until chromatic doors close. We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. I don't care who. Sigma, you have to choose. What? Why me? Please, just do it. We don't have any time left. Nine, eight, seven. I swallowed. I, Alice and I will... Another two hours, goddamn.